Okay, so I have a some some data here. I have this random variable and I have some probabilities and it's asking, so the random variable is the number of children among the five who inherit this genetic disorder. It's asking me first if this is a probability distribution. How you tell that is you simply simply add up all the probabilities and they should equal one. All right, so if they don't, then this is not a probability distribution. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this data put in my calculator so I can let my calculator do all the extra work. So I go to stat, I go to edit, edit. I type in my X random variable, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I arrow over, and now I start typing in these probabilities, 0 0.4090. 0 0.2174, 0 0.0578, 0 0.0077, and 0.1234. All right, and that just put that in scientific notation, why it looks like that. So the first thing I want to do is see if this column adds to 1. So I'm going to quit this, second quit. I'm going to go to second stat, over to math, down to sum, hit enter. And second two will give me L2, which was that second column. And C, does these all add up to one? And they do. So that, that's good. All right, so how do you find the mean? Now that we know that this is a probability distribution, the mean, you take each value and you multiply it, um, each random variable, and you multiply it by its probability, and then you add them all up. Well, let's let the calculator do it. So I'm going to go back into stat, into edit. I'm going to actually put a formula here. So this part's important. I need to be up where it says L3. So I click the up arrow, and now I'm going to put a formula here which says to multiply column L1 with column L2. So I do second L1 times second L2, and when I hit enter, you'll see that I get my list. So again, just by looking at this, this is L1 times L2, L1 times L2. So I want to sum those up. So second stat down to sum. That was column L3, so second 3. And I get 1.05, but it says round to one decimal place. So 1.05 would be, what, 1.1? Good job. And now I want my calculator back. So find the standard deviation. All right, so the standard deviation is you take each x value. Okay, so I'm going to take each x value, and I'm going to square it and times my probability and then subtract my mean squared. All right, so I'm taking each x value times its probability, and then I'm going to square it. So I'm going to go back and make another column, stat, edit, edit. I'm going to go over here to the L4 and go up because I'm going to do an actual formula. So this formula is going to take my x column, which is in L1, and square it. So that's my x variable, my random variable, and square it, and then multiply it by its probability, which is in L2, if you remember. Now, I have to sum all of these, so that's all I'm going to do here, because then I can sum these. All right, so second, quit. So the formula for standard deviation is the is the square root of this, but I'm going to go ahead and do the variance first, which says take the sum of those x squared times probability of x. So second stat math sum, oops, and this is now in L4, so second L4. So that adds up all of the random variables squared times the probabilities. And what that ends up giving me um, is just that sum. Now what I need to do is I need to take this sum, 
minus my mean that I found squared and square rooted. So I'm going to do my second square root. I'm going to take the sum that I just found, 1.932. I am going to subtract my mean, which is 1.1, and I'm going to square it, and that finishes off my formula. And so this one round to one decimals looks like it would be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and I get my answer. All right, so I just want to show this because this is one of these things that, yeah, it's great. The calculator's doing everything for you, but I really want you to see, I don't know what happened there. I really want you to see this formula. This is what we just did, and then we square rooted it. We, we took, or I, I use this, you could e use either one. We took each X value, we squared it, we multiplied it by its probability, we added all of those up, and then we subtracted the mean squared. All right, so as you can see with your calculator, it's, it's a lot faster and easier.